everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV here in Round Rock, Texas. Today, I'm gonna show you around the Bushwhacker Plus 15FK by Braxton Creek. Now this trailer's 15 and a half feet long, it weighs only 1,900 pounds, and it should cost you somewhere in the neighborhood of $15,000. But you are gonna be so surprised at all the features that they have included in this. There aren't any options, everything comes on it, the backcountry package and the convenience package. Let's get started. This really is an amazingly spacious, small trailer, right? It's eight and a half feet wide. That gives it a really kind of a large feel. Kitchen runs right across the front. Now, coming in here, this felt a little bit low to me, uh, lower than usual on this countertop, but I measured it. It's 31 and a half inches from the ground. And with this shelf up here, it, you need that space to be able to work. So usually not a problem for most people. The height on this trailer is six foot one right here in the center. It does radius a little bit in the front and in the back. So you'll keep that in mind if that's important to you. The entrance on the door, you have to duck just a little bit. I'm five foot tall and even I have to duck just a hair on this because it's just under five foot coming in. Now that's not unusual in trailers this size in order to maintain the integrity. The counter is really got a lot of space on it, very accessible. It is an open feel under here and these lights are right down on the countertop and really if they're not in my eyes they're not going to be in most people's eyes. So I really, I am really comfortable with this setup. The sink while it isn't the largest sink you'll find in a trailer, it's six inches deep, very usable, has a very nice higher faucet on the top in the rubbed bronze. So I think that is a great feature for a small trailer along with two burners right here. Again, I am really happy with the amount of counter space and the storage that they've put up here for making this kitchen work. Now underneath in this cabinet, is the storage underneath right here. Now the bottom space has got that curve coming in, so it's only about 10 inches deep there. This top goes about two feet, pretty far forward, so you've got a lot of space here. Microwave. With the two burner stove, and on the left wall is going to be the household plug that AC plug right here and the monitor panel. This monitor panel will have the water pump and both water heater switches because this trailer has a six gallon gas water heater and electric water heater. You get both options on it. Uh, the monitor panel at the top will tell you, of course, the levels of your water in your tanks. So very easy, very accessible here. Your lights underneath. Now this wet bath has the toilet shower combination in it, the hot cold knobs. It isn't a single knob that you have to adjust. So I find the two knobs sometimes easier when you're in a small space like this. Light at the top, a really nice compact setup, but very workable. Now it's about five and a half feet tall in there. The ceiling does come down just a little bit. Uh, and you've got a shower door that it's a plastic mesh that uh, closes, but again, you can't see through it and it's easy to close, easy to open, keep that bathroom isolated. Uh, right behind that is another countertop. This countertop, boy, you could use it for almost anything. 15,000 BTU air conditioner right at the top and below, you've got your Bluetooth AM FM stereo, uh, it's got the USB in it and the HDMI plug. Three-way refrigerator right here. And below that, 
the 12,000 BTU furnace. Across from that countertop, you have another storage bin right here. And on this side, a switch for your porch light and the controls for the 5000 BTU air conditioner. Very simple here, just adjust the temp, flip it on, you're ready to go. Now a fan right in the center of this is going to make it compatible for just almost any weather. You've got AC, furnace, but if you wanted to just enjoy the outdoors, this powerful fan, you can open it up, set it on high, crack the windows, and it's going to create that breeze in here standard on all of the trailers and two speakers and of course your smoke detector R there is almost everything you need in here very compact very simple to use now the seating space in this trailer is really quite impressive i can see sitting here with three you could put a chair there have four people easily playing a game playing cards plenty of elbow room the cushions are soft. They're very comfortable. They are a fabric feel on them, but I can tell it's a nylon fabric. So it probably is gonna clean super easy. This table has got the nice swivel to it. So you can move it around to get in the other side, move it back, or you could even just push it to the side to get it out of the way. Lots of great options. You can see how it's got so many adjustments and swivel points. I've got it down a little lower than you may like it, simply because that's more comfortable for me, but it can go any place you want. So this makes down to the bed area. It is 56 inches wide and 78 inches long. Not quite as big as a queen, but almost, just a few inches short on each side. Uh, but I think it'd be a very comfortable sleeping area, very easy to make. Uh, you undo this table, and this is similar to a lagoon table, only it's a little different. You just loosen the handles, and then you can take this table out. The tabletop drops down right in the ledge here. Pull these cushions over, and you have your sleeping area. Very simple to do. When you're ready to put it back together, just reverse the process. Slide the pole right in here, tighten the handle, and you're back to a nice size dinette. Now right above, they have an open shelf, and it is about six inches deep, but it's not very tall. So it'd be great for books, things like that. One thing I did notice sitting here is that the plugs on the side of that cabinet are just perfect for working from the table. You do have two USBs, a household plug, and the connections for the television that could easily sit on the counter back there. The other thing that feels very comfortable here is you've got nice lighting right here on the bottom of this shelf. Now, I'm five foot tall and you've got maybe a little bit of clearance for someone who's tall here, but there's still quite a bit of room left uh, for sitting. The windows on both sides of this dinette open for airflow. That's really important if you're looking for a cross breeze. This one slides over halfway. The one on the other side, it's an egress window, so it's gonna tip out like an awning. Great to open that window when you are maybe in the rain or the mist and you still want the airflow coming in. It will act as your escape window if you ever need that. Now, the shades our pull down pleated shades, blackout shades, easy work, put right back up. So with the lights, the plug, this open space, it really feels very comfortable. Now let's go outside and take a look at all the features on the outside. Now walking out the door, the first thing I notice is that they have notified you of a fresh water drain right under here behind the step. That is to drain your fresh water tank, 21 gallons. If you don't want to travel with it full or you want to drain it for storage, just under here on the left is that fresh water drain. Turn the knob a quarter turn, drains the tank. Now standard on that backcountry package, like I mentioned at the beginning, is the off-road tires and the aluminum wheels. This trailer has almost 18 inches of clearance, so it really is made for going on any type of road that you'd like. 110 plug right out here. 
Let's open this up. There you go. And a little more storage right here. In this compartment, it goes underneath your dinette. So you can actually access it from in there. And you have rear stabilizing jacks for stabilizing the trailer once you stop. Underneath this compartment is a gas port for hooking up an outside grill. If you wanted to use a grill that's made to go with an RV, just plug it in right there and use the propane that is already on your trailer. Now moving around the back, I'd like to mention right here, the great feature about this build is that as a teardrop, they have one piece of fiberglass rolled all the way from this back bumper all the way around to the front where we have the rock guard. Great feature when you have less seams, you don't have a seam where your roof meets the walls on the back and the front. Uh, only this seam on the side to catch. Great for maintenance and great for longevity of your trailer. Around the other side, an outside shower. Hot and cold handles, really nice feature. Especially in a trailer like this, you might just want to rinse off your feet, wash the dog, whatever you need to do. Now this is the six gallon water heater that I told you about. It is gas and electric. Now under here is two low point drains. They are gonna be great for draining the water out of the lines that are in your system here, along with the fresh tank drain on the other side. That gets all the water out of your system when you're putting it in storage. Now just above that is the shore cord. Uh, that is the 30 amp cord that's gonna attach to the plug-in at the campsite and get AC power directly to your camper. Now, right here, that's gonna be the city water fill for getting water from the hydrant directly to your camper. So if you need water to come out of the faucets and not fill your tank, this is the way you do it, all right here in the same section. Below here is your sewer connections, and this trailer has 21 gallon fresh tank 18 gallon gray tank and an eight and a half gallon black tank. The gray and the black all connected right here uh, at a really accessible point right here in the front. A few more things added in here. This is the fresh water fill. So where you, when you would wanna fill up that 21 gallon fresh water tank, just put the hose in here, fill that up. I'll put the cap back on and below that, you have a port for a portable solar panel. That connection is gonna have that solar panel charger battery anytime you plug it in, set it up out in the sun. The thing I love about that is you get to park in the shade. Let's take a look at the front. Around the front, this is the front of that fiberglass wrap I told you about. Diamond plate on the bottom for a rock guard. Now this actually has a rhino type liner on it. So it's gonna be extremely durable and of course the spot for your battery and your 20 pound five gallon propane tank seven way plug your chains it does come with a manual jack if you want an electric jack a lot of people do it is a very inexpensive upgrade now i think i've showed you almost all the features on here but if i miss something please let me know we are glad to answer all of your questions I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV here in Round Rock, Texas. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more walkthrough videos, remember, subscribe to our channel, and I will see you next time.